Hello everyone! Since we have already learned how to solve one-step equations in the three previous videos, we are now ready to solve equations with two steps. When we perform the two inverse operations, we will do them one after the other. We do not do them at the same time. And as we can see here, two things are happening to x. We are multiplying it by 2, and we are also adding 5. Now the question is, which inverse operation should I do first? Well, the way I like to think about it is that this x is being multiplied by 2. It's like a sticker that's really stuck and hard to undo. So what I do is the inverse operation of adding 5 first, and then I deal with this 2 times x after. Well, the inverse of adding 5 is to subtract 5 from both sides. On the left-hand side, if I add 5 to subtract 5, that's going to go. I'm left with 2x. Now, I'm going to draw an arrow here to show you where it's going to go. It's going to go neatly underneath. We don't have to draw this arrow when we're solving. I'm just putting it there to show you where it's gone. And then 17 take away 5 is 12. If we notice, now we have a one-step equation. x is being multiplied by 2. The inverse is to divide by 2. Remember, 2 divided by 2 will give us 1. So I have 1 with x, and 12 divided by 2 is 6. At this point, we can take our solution, substitute it into the original equation, and check. 2 times 6 gives us 12. If we add 5, do we get 17? Yes, we do. Now, one thing about this yellow business at the bottom, this is just the checking. It's not part of the solving steps, but it's a good idea to check our work. It's not necessary to show this. Another thing I wanted to remind you of is that the division sign that was used in previous grades will no longer be used in solving equations. Here's our next equation, and we see that x is being divided by 3, and we are also subtracting 2. Now remember, as I mentioned in the other example, this divided by 3 is more stuck to x. So it's harder to undo. So we will do the inverse of subtracting 2 first, which is to add 2 to both sides. If I subtract 2 to add 2, I will be left with x divided by 3, and it goes neatly underneath. And 4 plus 2 is 6. At this point, we have a one-step equation x is being divided by 3. The inverse of dividing by 3 is to multiply by 3 on both sides. Remember, 3 divided by 3 will give me 1 with x. And on the right-hand side, 6 times 3 is 18. At this point, we can take our solution substitute it into the original equation and see if 18 divided by 3. Well, that gives us 6. If I subtract 2, do I get 4? Yes, so we solved this correctly. In this example, we have x being multiplied by 3 and also 2 is being subtracted from it. The first inverse operation we're going to do is to add 2 to both sides. If I subtract 2 only to add 2, I will just be left with 3x that I write neatly underneath. And on the right-hand side, 10 plus 2 is 12. Now we see x is being multiplied by 3. So the inverse is to divide by 3 on both sides. Remember, 3 divided by 3 will give me 1. So 1 goes with x. And on the right-hand side, 12 divided by 3 is 4. At this point, we can take 4, substitute it into the original equation, and see 3 times 4 gives me 12. If I subtract 2, do I get 10? Yes, I do. So we solved it correctly. 
Here we see x is being divided by 4, and we are also adding 2. So the inverse operation we're going to do first is to subtract 2 from both sides. If I have 2 and then subtract 2, I'm just left with x divided by 4. On the right-hand side, 5 take away 2 is 3. At this point, we see x is being divided by 4, so the inverse is to multiply by 4 on both sides. Remember, 4 divided by 4 will give us 1, so 1 will go with x, and 3 times 4 is 12. We can take the solution now, substitute it into the original equation to check, and 12 divided by 4 gives us 3. If we add 2, do we get 5? Yes, we do. So we solved it correctly. Subscribe to my channel to get updates on new videos. And if you'd like me to create more, like and share with someone who might find this helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.